नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट डेसिमल टू हेक्सा डेसिमल कन्वर्शन एज वेल एज हेक्सा डेसिमल टू डेसिमल कन्वर्शन डेसिमल मीन्स बेस वैल्यू इज टेन सो ए डेसिमल नंबर मेनली कंटेन्स टेन सिंबल्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन सो वी कैन यूज टेन सिंबल्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन इन ए डेसिमल नंबर वेर एज हेक्सा डेसिमल मीन्स बेस वैल्यू इज सिक्सटीन सो वी कैन यूज सिक्सटीन सिंबल्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन एंड ए टू एफ एंड ए टू एफ सो ए मीन्स टेन बी मीन्स इलेवन सी मीन्स ट्वेल्व D means thirteen, E means fourteen, Y means fifteen. So totally, we can use sixteen symbols from zero to nine and A to F. So now let us see the conversions. So the first one is what decimal to hexadecimal conversion. So two examples are given. So for these two examples, we have to construct the equivalent hexadecimal number. Here decimal to hexadecimal conversion. Uh, here for understanding purpose for remembering purpose let us assumes that d stands for division d stands for division so if we want to convert decimal to hexadecimal number then we have to divide that number by 16 why because here what is the decimation number system hexadecimal suppose if we want to convert decimal to binary so here the target system is what binary system so we have to perform division operation with 2 so for remember for understanding purpose let us assumes that d stands for division so that we can easily convert the number into the hexadecimal okay so let's see the first example so 972 so we have to convert this one to hexadecimal okay so we need to perform which operation division operation let us assume that d stands for division so perform the division operation 16 so 16 972 so 16 fives are 80 16 six are 96 16 six are 96 so 16 six are 96 so 97 minus 96 means 1 next to 2 next to 16 zeros are 0 so 12 minus 0 means 12 so quotient is 16 whereas the remainder is 12 we have to continue this process till we get quotient as 0 so again perform the division by 16 16 threes are 48 16 fours are 64 so 3 is the quotient 3 minus uh, 60 minus 48 means 12 so 12 is the remainder next 16 3 16 zeros are 0 minus Three is the remainder. Three is the remainder. Okay. Next, we have to write the result. So while writing the result, we have to take the digits from bottom to top. Bottom to top. So what is the solution here for this number? The hexadecimal number is three, three. Next to twelve. What is twelve here? A means ten. B means eleven. C means twelve. D means thirteen, E means fourteen, F means fifteen. Okay, so now twelve. So twelve means what? C. Twelve means C. Next day again we have twelve. So twelve means what? C. So three C C base sixteen. So this is the corresponding hexadecimal number for this problem. Now let us solve the second example. So in the second example, decimal point is also given. decimal point is also given so let us start the problem 382 382 is the integer part so for integer part so simply we need to perform the division operation so 382 so 16 twos are 32 16 382 so 16 twos are 32 38 minus 32 means what 6 next to 2 next to 16 threes are 48 16 threes are 48, 48. So 62 minus 48 means uh, 62 minus 14. So 14 is the result. Okay. So here what is the quotient? The 23 is the quotient. 16 twos are 32. Next to six, 
16 fours are 48. 23 minus. So 62 minus 48 means 12 minus 8 means 4. 14. So 14 is the 14 is the remainder. 23 is the quotient. Next 16 twos are 32. 16 zeros are 16 ones are 16 minus 23 minus 16 means 7. So 7 is the remainder. Next 16 zeros are 0 next to 1. So we got 0 as the quotient. So we can stop the process and we need to write from bottom to top. Bottom to top. So 1, 7, 14. So for the second problem, what is the solution? 1, 7, 14. So 1, 7. So 14 in hexadecimal means E. 14 in hexadecimal means E. 1, 7, E dot. Next we have fractional part. So on fractional part, simply we need to perform the multiplication operation. Okay. 0 0.525 into 16. So simply we need to perform the multiplication operation. Okay. So what is the result here? 0 0.525 into 16 means 16 fives are 80. 16 twos are 32. 32 plus 8 means 40. 16 fives are 80. 80 plus 4 means 84. So after 0 we need to write the dot. So after one position dot. So what is the result? 8.400. Here what is the integer part? 8 is the integer part. So we have to write, we have to extract integer part and let us write here. So after extra, here we have extracted 8. So now the integer part will become 0. So 0 0.400 into Again, we need to multiply with 16. Why? Because here, what is the destination system, number system? Hexa. So, 16 fours are 64. So, 6.400. Here, what is the integer part? 6 is the integer part. So, let us extract the integer part. So, now integer part will become 0. So, 0 0.400. 0 0.400 into 16. So, that is equal to 6.400. Again, we will get 6. Again, 0 0.4 into 16 means uh, 6.4. Again, we will get 6. So, likewise, we will get 8.6666 like that only. Here, for the fractional part, we have to take the digits from top to bottom. So, here, top to bottom means 8.6. Base, what is the base value? 16 is the base value. So, this is the solution for the second problem. Now, let us see about hexadecimal to binary. Now let us discuss about hexadecimal to decimal system. So if you want to convert any number system to decimal system, simply we need to perform the multiplication operation. Okay. So if the destination is decimal system, simply we need to perform the multiplication. Whereas if the source is decimal, then simply we need to perform the division operation. Okay. So here what is the number? 1A6. 1A6. Simply we need to perform the multiplication operation. Here what is the base value? 16. So it will become 16 power 0. A means here the position is 16 power 1. 1 means the position is 16 power 2. Simply perform the multiplication operation and add them. So 16 power 2 into 1 plus 16 power 1 into A plus 16 power 0 into 6. 16 square means 256. 256 into 1 means 256. 16 power 1 means 16. A means 10. 16 into 10 means 160. Anything power 0 is equal to 1. 1 into 6 means 6. So 256 plus 160 means 256 plus 160 means 6. 6 fives are 11. 416. So 6. 6 fives are 11. 4. 416 plus 6 means 422. So 422 base. What is the base? 10 is the base. So here the solution is 422 is the corresponding decimal number for that problem. Now let us see the second example. Second example means here some fractional number is given. So simply after dot we have to write as yes, 16 power minus 1, 16 power minus 2 right base. So A6 dot 1 2. So on top of 6, 16 power 0. On top of A, 16 power 1. Next after dot, we need to write as minus 1, minus 2, so on. So 16 power 1 into 
ये वॉट इज ये टेन प्लस सिक्सटीन पावर जीरो इंटू सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन पावर माइनस वन इंटू वन प्लस सिक्सटीन पावर माइनस टू इंटू टू ओके सो सिक्सटीन पावर वन इंटू सिक्सटीन मीन्स वन सिक्सटी प्लस एनीथिंग पावर जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन वन इंटू सिक्स मीन सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन पावर माइनस वन मीन्स वी कैन राइट एज वन बाई सिक्सटीन वन बाई सिक्सटीन इंटू वन मीन्स वन बाई सिक्सटीन प्लस सिक्सटीन पावर माइनस टू मीन्स वन बाई सिक्सटीन पावर टू ए पावर माइनस एम मीन्स वन वन बाई ए पावर एम वन बाई सिक्सटीन पावर टू दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू फिफ्टी सिक्स इंटू टू सो वी हैव टू इवेल्युएट वन बाई सिक्सटीन नेक्स्ट वी नीड टू इवेल्युएट टू बाई टू फिफ्टी सिक्स मीन्स टू वन सा टू वन ट्वेंटी एट ओके सो वन बाई वन ट्वेंटी एट एंड यू एड द रिजल्ट टू वन सिक्सटी प्लस सिक्सटीन सो इट विल बिकम्स द करस्पॉन्डिंग डेसीमल नंबर सो इन दिस वे वी कैन कन्वर्ट डेसीमल टू एक्सा डेसीमल एंड एक्सा डेसीमल टू डेसीमल